Ladies, gentlemen, and others, um, hi, Corey here from Crack Plastic Plastic Podcast. Um, I'm here with another Fix It video, and this one is a question that I see a lot on a lot of groups, and it's, uh, how do I get out a rusted screw? Um, obviously you can see a couple of drills on my bench here, um, and that's what I do. There are other methods, and my nose itches. There are other methods, meth it's not because of cocaine. There are other methods that people will suggest, and I'm sure they work, just not for me. Uh, there's the, there's the, I mean, you, 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 basically, you know, you've got a rusty screw. This is a, a lantern core, uh, uh, torso. And I started drilling this out, and then I thought, hey, wh 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 why don't I make a why don't I make a quick video? So basically, here's what's going on: you have a rusty, shitty screw, and you put a screwdriver in there, and you've put some pressure on it, and you start to turn, and it just goes, whoosh, son of a carpenter. Um, and so some of the methods that people will mention are. Uh, one way it would be to get a flathead screwdriver, which that one can work depending on how rusty the screw is. Um, there's always a possibility that you might be able to get the flathead to, to just barely, you know, bite whatever remnants of screw are left. Um, occasionally it might work to try and put the, and try and put more tension on the screw to screw it in a little more to kind of break the, 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 corrosive bond that the metal has made to the plastic over 30 years um, and then back it out there's also the idea that maybe you can put a drop of super glue on the end of a screwdriver and let it set uh, to the screw um, and uh, hopefully get it to bite there is the rubber band method where you stick a rubber band over the hole and shove a screwdriver in with the rubber band on it and hopefully that'll get you some traction it's literally never worked for me um i have tried it probably 15 times and i just never uh so i use a reverse drill bit you can see maybe that the that the 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 helix is going the opposite direction as the uh as this other bit in my hand this is my drill tap combo bit that i use in another video to show you how i repaired a, a wheel mount um and anyway so the idea behind the left-handed drill bit the reverse drill bit if you will this is an eighth inch bit um <clears throat> is that possibly the bit will bite the screw enough to back it out. <clears throat> um, that has worked for me maybe two times out of 30. So, uh, it can happen. I have been lucky enough to have it happen. But I see this question a lot on, on Facebook and other places. So, yeah, basically... I already started this one with my Black & Decker drill. This is a very light drill, which I prefer for doing this kind of thing because it's way less heavy-handed and it's, uh, it's, because it's kind of delicate work. Um, I've done it enough that I can use the heavy drill, but I would recommend, I can use my impact drill, but I would recommend using, uh, using a light drill, a lightweight drill for this. Anyway, I started on this already, so it's not going to take me nearly as long to drill this out as it normally would, because a lot of the material is already gone, but it died before I got through the head of the screw. But, basically, I'm going to screw, I'm going to, I'm going to drill the head of the screw off, and then I'm going to take the rest of the screw out with a pair of needle nose pliers. And I'm going to go ahead and just do this. I don't know how to fast forward through videos or speed them up or whatever because I'm too old and stupid. Um, so, here I go. Go slow. Um, one of the reasons to go slow is that uh, the more 
the more speed you put into a drill bit, the more heat it's going to create, and the hotter a bit gets, the weaker the, its metal gets, and the quicker it, the bit will dull. I've had this bit for a long time, and it's still relatively sharp. It's, it's going to be time to replace it here in a few months, but um, it's, uh, it's stayed relatively sharp because I don't, I don't fly through these things. Also, pro tip, don't drill a hole in your hand. There it goes. Um, I'll show you here. That, that went really quick. And actually, I had only, before my other drill died, I had only actually been drilling on this thing for about a minute. So, sometimes it really does only take a couple minutes. But there you can see, that is the... That is the drilled out head of the screw. It's very tiny. Um, and if you look in there, you can see, you probably, if I get the right light on it just right, you can kind of see the shiny bit of the shaft of the screw. Um, it's gonna, it doesn't quite want to pop, but that's what, partly what the needle nose pliers are for. You stick them in there and just, and there it goes. And this is a core figure, so it's got some kind of weird paper inside of it. And, yeah, basically, that's it. And grab a hold of it with your needle nose pliers and twist. And out it comes. So. I hope that was helpful. There is officially no more rusted out screw stuck in this. And this torso can go into my parts box, my figure parts box over there. Um, I really do, uh, I really do appreciate you guys watching these, um, all nine of you. Um, and I hope this is helpful and informative and not too stupid because no one has ever associated me with brilliance. Um, but, uh, do all the things that you're supposed to do to, to do all the things I'm supposed to guilt you into doing, I guess. I don't know, guilt? Let's, I'm going to try real hard now to convince you to like and subscribe. I don't know, there's supposed to be a bell. I've never paid attention. Uh, to this YouTube channel, um, you can find all of our information, um, at cracktasticplastic.com. Our Twitter handle is cracktasticpod, at cracktasticpod, whatever. Um, our Instagram is cracktasticplastic. Our Facebook group is also cracktasticplastic. Um, that's really fun. There's a lot of good, there's a lot of good people in there, a lot of collectors. Um, basically anything plastic. There's so many different things. There's, there's this douche that collects Godzilla for some reason. Um... And, uh, you know, Masters of the Universe and Transformers and all kinds of cool stuff, you know, like Voltron and Power Rangers and shit. Anyway, um, and then you can find our podcast uh, on our website or uh, iTunes, Google Podcasts. I'm sure there are many others, but those are the only two that I know because I'm a too old to understand new things. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Um, you can check out the podcast. They are there are video there there video podcasts as well, um, audio and video. Um, so that's all I got this time. Uh, I really do hope that you enjoyed watching me push my glasses up thirty or forty times. See ya.